Most recent incident at the Jazz game does bring up painful memories, including March 2019, when Oklahoma Thunder star Russell Westbrook was heckled with racist language by a fan. As Fox 13 News focuses on mental health in Utah with our You Are Not Alone initiative, Max Roth goes in depth with an expert to find out more about how it feels to be in a minority here in Utah. The vast majority of Utahns are horrified at what happened to John Morant and his family. But it can be a challenge to see how that might impact a person who's in a minority community here in Utah. But there are clear signs this state that we love doesn't always feel welcoming. Why is it that anger um, about the game often turns into um, racial um, animus. Dr. Darius Boast teaches ethnic studies at the University of Utah. When are we going to have a conversation about um, athletes, um, particularly black athletes being valued um, for their athletic prowess, but also still devalued because of their identities. And if famous, wealthy and admired athletes are seen like that, what about him? And what about other Utahns? Even when 78,000 Americans respond to a census poll, not enough of them are black in Utah to get statistics from it. But enough of them are members of racial and ethnic minorities, and the results illuminate a tough experience here. Question, have you felt nervous, anxious, or on edge in the last seven days? Minorities in Utah, 5% more likely to say yes than minorities around the country, while white people in Utah are less anxious than white white people nationally. Did you feel unable to stop or control worry? Minority Utahns, 8% more likely to say yes than minorities nationwide. White Utahns, about 5% less likely to say yes. Signs of depression, like feeling little interest or pleasure in doing things. Utah minorities, 14% more likely to say yes. White Utahns, 9% less likely to say yes. And feeling down, depressed, or hopeless? Utah minorities are 26% more likely to say yes than minorities around the U.S. White Utahns, again, less likely to feel depressed. Dr. Bose says it has been an agonizing year for black Americans in particular. George Floyd, protests, and a debate nationally and in Utah about how much to focus on racism in American history in schools. But he was encouraged by some broad support for justice issues last year. In the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, 